My name is Sue O'Gorman and together with my fiance Pao O'Sullivan we run Rayfield Stud. Um, mainly focusing on breaking and pre-training and we have a couple of really nice point pointers to run this year. Well I'm originally from Kerry, um, we grew up doing a lot of pony racing. Um, my uncle and my father would have had a good few pony racers and I'd done that for a number of years. I'd rode about 60 winners. Then I went to race and I got sent to Eddie Harty's from there and he was very good to me. I had a couple of lovely rides in the flat for him and I moved to Paul Nolan's then after that. And that's how I ended up in Wexford. I rode as a conditioner for Paul for a couple of years and had managed to sneak a few winners on, along the way. So that was basically it, but I always had an eye on the training thing anyway. Uh, so I suppose there was always racehorses here um, when I was growing up. My dad was um, buying foals and selling them as three-year-olds. Um, we had some great success um, with the likes of Dabaroon, Cheltenham Festival winner and Snowy Morning, who was third in an entry national. Um, I would have grown up riding hunters here. Um, I love to do a bit of hunting and it's great um, when you have the time, but it's, that's not always easy at this time of the year. Um, I am also point point secretary for our spring point point with the Wexford Hunt. Um, my mom is secretary for the autumn one, so we do a lot of that job and together. And it's great when you have a background knowledge of the industry to do that job as well. I just think sometimes the the hunt clubs kind of get forgotten about. They're completely run on a voluntary basis. Um, without the the background team setting up the tracks and being there on the day Saturdays and Sundays week in week out over the winter it just it just wouldn't happen we wouldn't have this massive industry that we have the trainers selling the horses and the horses going on to win the grade ones it wouldn't be happening so we start every morning uh usually we'd be in the yard at seven um, we have a dairy enterprise here as well so we'll be milking 140 uh, this year um, so it's a very busy time now, in, heading into the middle of February, we're calving about two weeks. Um, we've about 50 cows going through the parlour at the minute. Um, so lots of hungry mouths and lots of calves to be fed. The days are very busy, but the nights are too, so there's not a lot of sleep going on at the minute. Uh, my dad is a big part of the daily running of the yard here. Um, we do the milking together and he does a lot of the feeding as well. Um, so we've about 40 replacement heifers coming on every year too. Sue goes off and milks and I go ahead and start feeding the horses and things like that. If she has a problem, I'll go over and give her a hand, but if not, I kind of work away at the horses and there's always a couple of young breakers there and that, and I can tip away at them myself till Sue is ready to come right out. We'd have a small enough team here. Uh, we probably do most of the work ourselves. Um, we are very lucky to have people coming in when they do. We have Willie Murray comes in in the afternoons whenever we want him. Uh, Kiva Hines and Adam Williams um, come most Saturdays and they do a lot of schooling, whether it's at home here or if we go away. Then we have Paddy Scallon, Jack Hendrick, Tierney Power Roach, Liam Gilligan, all excellent riders. We're very lucky to get them. Um, probably go away once a week um, schooling somewhere and they do all the schooling for us. And, um, when they're available, we, they'll ride the horses as well. I started working for Sean Dial a couple of years ago and Sean was very good to me. We're, I wasn't there very long and he gave me a half share in a filly. And lucky enough, um, Top of Gold, her name was, she came out and she won. And that kind of kick-started the thing with us being able to buy a few horses and we were always stuck in with Sean and things like that. And just, we decided to go out on our own. This year we happened to have a few more and Thank God for the limited amount of numbers we have. We have a filly that we bred ourselves and she won in Torella two weeks ago, their first time out. So that was a great thrill to have done all that. The plan with her now is sure her job is done here. So she's going to the sales in Cheltenham the 23rd and hopefully she'll find a good home over there and represent us well with her new owners. But here comes Speranza Wild on the outside, produced right on time at Speranza Wild. So I like to think that we work well together anyway. Um, pa has a great knowledge um, from riding on the track. Um, he, uh, as regards riding work and schooling and pace and timing and all, all that side of things. And sure, Sue then, she was growing up with animals all her life. So she's really good at taking care of any horses with little bits of problems and things like that. And she does all the office work, which I'd be totally hopeless at. And sure, she's the boss at the end of the day. <laughs> Ha <laughs>
We have a bunch of about uh, seven or eight horses to run, hopefully over the next few weeks, just waiting on a bit of rain. Basically, um, we have a nice ask horse called Stylish Recruit, um, an ask mare called Bright Sunrise, um, a big core cave horse, Well Dell is his name, um, a parish hall, uh, his name is Parish Well, um, two jetaways, um, Away With You and Rout Nislina, um, an Okavango, Delightful Warrior, and a really nice matter that we love, um, Poetry Man he's called. Um, he's a half brother to Poetic Rhythm. Um, we were very lucky um, to get a half share in him to train um, a man just about half a mile down the road, Vinnie Finn, bred him um, and he gave us a call one day and asked us would we like to take half share in him to train him. And we were lucky enough this year that we got sent some beautiful yearlings to break which was a new adventure for us. I had done a bit of it when I was in Eddie Harty's and that so I had a little bit of a knowledge of it but it was very enjoyable. They were beautiful horses and it'd be great to have an interest watching the flat in the summer as well. We have about 15 to 20 breakers and pre-trainers here um, all winter. Um, we've been really well supported by local lads. Um, we put in our gallop uh, September 2021 it was finished. It's a two furlong oval, uh, deep wet with sand. Um, so we do a lot of slow cantering. It's great to build up the younger horses and get them nice and strong. Um, without killing them, we don't do a lot of fast work here. Nowadays it's very hard to compete to be able to step into the sales ring as a normal person and buy the three-year-old that you want. So you'd be trying to buy a nice horse with a lesser pedigree and do your best with him kind of thing. When you turn up on any given Sunday, you could possibly see a horse that would be going to go on to win a Gold Cup. We're spoiled for choice with facilities in the county. Um, we'd bring the three-year-olds for the first day away, we'd go to Deninga. Um, and then we would bring them to Cool Bon um, for a gallop on grass. Um, we use Morris Days down in Kilnick a lot and uh, Monks Grange as well for school and bumpers. At the minute we're happy enough with what we do. We've been very well supported by a lot of local people around here. Um, we have plenty of horses in there the whole time. Probably going forward we'd like to keep buying three rows there and with a bit of luck one of them We'll be watching them in Cheltenham one day, and that's the aim. Sure, that's everybody's dream, and maybe it'll come true someday.